Hi folks, uh, I'm Scott Ralph, this is my uh, studio, I'm a music producer. I'm just going to tell you a little bit about what I do um, and how, in very basic explanation of how that kind of works. Um, as you can see this is quite a complicated environment, uh, we've got lots of um, sort of uh, what we would call outboard gear in this studio which is for instance this is a compressor there are things like EQs, uh, reverbs, oh, my, uh, my amp's making some funny sounds there I'm just going to switch that off um, which uh, you get from old equipment like this is a valve amp so it's using um, quite old technology but it brings this kind of what we would call warmth or saturation to your sound um, we also, of course, not just using stuff in the real world, we also use stuff that is in the actual, what we call, in the box, which is um, that is stuff that you can see here, which is kind of mimicking what I've got in the outside world as well. Um, uh, but it's all based on, it's all binary, it's all um, using noughts and ones instead of uh, valves, as I've just explained. Um, the way that I tend to work with clients is I, I really like clients to uh, come into here and first of all feel very comfortable so you can see the lighting in here is quite low and it's it's a very sort of um, uh, quite an engaging environment there's lots of lots of different things we have, we have a piano here we have, we've got a, a Hammond organ over here um, various different um, what vintage synthesizers uh, we've got brass instruments lots and lots of different guitars banjos cellos double basses so I yeah, get a lot of uh, quite multi-instrumental people coming in that, are, that want to record and they can just get stuck in and, and, and can feel free to be creative I've even got a little drum kit set up down here because we've been doing a songwriting session and it's nice to be able to just record stuff off the cuff uh, whereas of course I do have a drum room um, through in a different live room that's connected to this room which is known as the control room um, so yes yeah, so a, a little play of some of the track that we've got here so you can hear I'm actually mixing a track at the moment sounds like this So some of that was recorded using um, what are called sampled instruments uh, and then other parts, quite a lot of it was real instruments. For instance, if you have a listen to the piano part you were just listening to then. That is, oops, press stop instead of solo. That is actually this piano here, which you just heard a minute ago. Okay, uh, as you can see, um, unlike the kind of piano you would see in a house, we've taken the front off and the bottom off so that all the sound can be very easily mic'd up in various different ways. Uh, and that was actually just a live take. Uh, you can also hear there the drums that we recorded. On this mix, I've actually bounced the drums down to one single track, but that was originally about seven microphones. Um, and you have a listen to this. There we go. So you can hear there that that uh, you may, if, I don't know how familiar you are with drum sounds, but um, there's a mixture there of someone playing real drums, in fact that was me playing the real drums, um, but we also then, by the power of computers, we've managed to bring in some sampled elements as well, that literally you hit a snare, and it doesn't just play the snare drum in the room, it plays another sample snare as well, so you can really craft the sound. Um, so... Uh, hopefully that gives you a, a fairly good idea of um, uh, the way that uh, I work. Uh, it's been a pleasure explaining things to you and uh, if you're interested in being a producer in the future you might, you, you've hopefully got a, a better idea of it. Um, so yeah, thank you very much and goodbye.